In tonight's Healthline, turning back the clock. If your face is showing your age, maybe you've considered plastic surgery to get rid of wrinkles and bags. Well, now there's a new procedure that could take years off your appearance without subjecting you to the surgeon's knife. Some doctors believe it's better than plastic surgery. What is it? And most important, is it safe? Here's Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Bob Arnott. When you think of using lasers to change a person's appearance, you might think of the movie Face Off. Ten watts. But doctors all over the country are using lasers to help patients change their appearance by getting rid of the telltale signs of aging. It can take years off someone's appearance, maybe 15 to 20 years. Dr. Deborah Sarnoff is assistant clinical professor of dermatology at New York University and the author of the book, Beauty and the Beam. She says that in some cases, cosmetic laser treatments can make old skin look young again and do it better than traditional plastic surgery. They can take care of the crow's feet and the wrinkles around the mouth and the wrinkles around the cheeks, which facelifts, interestingly enough, often cannot take care of. And she says, new lasers fix more than wrinkles. They can erase spider veins, scars, tattoos. They can lift droopy eyelids and trim oversized earlobes. I'd say that every one of us has something that would be fixable or could be improved with laser. Lasers can burn. Lasers can destroy tissue. How safe are they? I think in the right hands, they're very safe. And in the wrong hands? Very risky. What are the wrong hands? Could be a physician that's not well trained, who's not experienced. It would definitely be at a spa or a salon where non-physician employees are actually performing the laser surgery. Federal regulation limits the sale of laser equipment to licensed physicians and dentists. But it's up to each state to decide who can operate. And while many states do have policies, when Dateline surveyed all 50 states to find out if they specifically test laser operator skills, we found out not one state in the country has such a test. You see, there really is no certification for laser, and that's something that people out there really have to understand. Dr. Sarnoff says patients considering laser surgery have to choose their doctor carefully. Interview the physician. Go for more than one interview. Interview a few physicians. Ask to speak to other patients. Ask to see photographs of other patients. And you make up your own mind. People need to do their homework and to to become an active part of their treatment. Dr. Sarnoff says laser surgery is best for crow's feet around the eyes and wrinkles around the mouth and cheeks. But she says if you have drooping jowls or badly sagging skin, you're probably gonna need traditional plastic surgery, the old fashioned nip and tuck. If you'd like to find out more about cosmetic laser treatments, you can visit our website. The address is www.dateline.msnbc.com.